Alright guys, let's get started and let me show you guys how you can use FileZilla on Amazon Web Services which known as AWS to see your WordPress files. Alright, now let me quickly log in into my AWS. So guys, now you can see I'm inside the AWS Management Console and now you need to click on EC2. So now from the left side, click on Instances. So guys, as you can see, this is the instance that we have created in the previous video. If you haven't checked that video out yet, you can check out by going to the description box of this video or you can go to the card button right here. So now you can see when we click on this instance and you can see this instance has this uh, IP address. Uh, we're going to use this IP address to log in into our FTP. So I'm going to copy this IP address by clicking this copy to clipboard button. And I'm going to paste this into Notepad. Next thing I need is a FTP client, which we are going to use a FileZilla. So if you don't have FileZilla, go to Google and type FileZilla. Go to this first website, FileZilla-project-org. And here you can download FileZilla client by clicking this download FileZilla button. So I already have FileZilla installed in my computer. So I'm not going to download this again. So if you don't have, go ahead, download it. So guys, this is the FileZilla. And uh, now let me show you how you can log in into your FileZilla account. In a host, we're going to paste a IP address that we just copied. Let's copy the IP address and paste in here. And next, in a username, we're going to type Bitnami. B-I-T-N-A-M-I, Bitnami. In the password field, we're going to leave it blank. In the port, we're going to type 22. And next, we're going to go to Edit, then click on Settings. And here, click on SFTP. So here, you need to add SSH key pair. If you do not know what is a SSH key pair and where I can get this SSH key, basically, this is a file. In the previous video, I've showed you how you can create a SSH key. If you haven't checked that video out, you can check out by going to the description box of this video. And you can see a little preview here where I show you how you can create and download this SSH key. Okay, now we have SSH key. Let me uh, delete this key. And uh, let me show you how you can add this from the beginning. By clicking this add key file button and then go to your download folder and uh, I have this key over here, .pem. This is a format of this key. And I'm gonna open this. So I had successfully added this key in my FTP client, which is FileZilla, and then click OK. Next thing you need to do is simply click on Quick Connect. Click OK. All right, now we're inside the uh, FTP server of AWS. So now let me show you where is the WordPress files. Come over here and uh, delete this one you have only slash and then type opt and then press enter okay now you can see this folder bitnami open up this folder and then open apps and then wordpress folder and then htdocs so here you can see your entire wordpress files let me go to wp dash content so now you can see the plugin folder theme folder uploads and the rest of the folders of your WordPress so now let me go to the new tab here and I'm gonna log in into my WordPress dashboard username is user and my password is let me show you where you can find your password if you uh, forget that click on your instance right click instance settings get system log and uh, go towards the bottom and right here scroll to the side and this is your application password and paste right here and then log in so as you can see now i'm successfully logged in into the wordpress dashboard now let's go to the plugins so as you can see i have seven plugins right here and in my ftp if i go to the plugin folder so as you can see i have the same folder right here to verify this, am I in the right place? I'm going to delete one of the plugin from this directory. Let's say, let's delete this one. I think it's called Akismet. Okay, 
I'm gonna press delete button and boom let's delete this all right now you can see I've successfully deleted from FileZilla now let's go back to the WordPress dashboard and let's refresh this plugin page all right as you can see this Akismet plugin has gone and that's the pretty much it all right guys that's the end of this video guys I hope you enjoyed this video if you did enjoy this video please smash that thumbs up and consider subscribing if you're new here because I drop a new video every single week on this channel about WordPress motion graphics VFX and all the good stuff I bring it to you guys every single week so that being said goodbye and I'll catch you guys in the next video